Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to today's video. Okay, so I felt like I'd give an update. I had initially planned on releasing a different video, which is buying and selling items on Nginx. Um, you know, how to buy and sell blockchain items, get them out of the game, get them into the game, everything in between and, and stuff to look out for. But this week has been a week of L's. So I am going to explain everything that happened as well as an update. I'm not sure if you can see, but yeah, I had a trip to the hospital. Okay, um, I got scammed, which really sucks, but we will get into all of that in a second. I just wanted to say I am one subscriber of 150 subs, which is incredible. Like that's, <laughs> that's wild. I am loving the support and the comments and stuff. It's super sick to see. I didn't think I'd get here and I appreciate every single one of you. Okay. In light of that, I will be giving away three blood extinction bows when I hit to 500 subscribers. I'll be giving it be giving it away to my subscribers and people that have commented on my videos before so in order to enter just subscribe and comment and then i will give three blood extinctions away at random to you guys as a as a little thank you so i appreciate the support and yeah hopefully you guys are the ones to win the bows now let's get into let's get into the video okay so last week sunday um my sword that you see in my thumbnails was hanging above my headboard. I know, stupid idea, <laughs> many, many people have um, given their suggestions as to where to keep a sword, uh, seeing as so many of us have swords apparently, uh, but it was above my headboard. Someone phoned me, I pick up the phone, I'm, I'm in bed, I was, uh, you know, I was taking a nap because I was super tired, uh, and I tell them, listen, I'm a little bit tired, let me wake up first. As I lean back into my bed, I hit the headboard and the sword bumps off and falls perfectly, okay, and lands over here. I'll include some of the videos and stuff. I don't know if I can be too graphic, but if you want to see the full story, go to my Instagram, check out my highlights. It's under Scarface. Uh, and then you'll see the full full story from start to finish. So yeah. Let's see. Don't worry. I'm gonna go to the doctor and get it checked out. But I have my priorities in order. The sword fell over there and cut me on my cheekbone. I needed five stitches. Um, but I had to finish my pizza first. I was, <laughs> I was not keen to go and wait at the hospital. So while my face was a little bit open and uh, nasty, I made some pizza, ate that, and then went to go and get stitched up. I was super fortunate if it had hit my eye, if it had hit my nose uh, or my forehead, it would have been a, a different story because uh, the cartilage in your nose doesn't really uh, heal back so well. So it probably would have broken my nose. And then in your forehead, there's a lot of veins and stuff. So it just, uh, squirts blood. I got off super fortunately. Uh, it wasn't bad, honestly, zero pain. Uh, it just felt like I kind of got punched and then had a little a little opening, but after the stitches, it's it's healing up really nice. So that's, that's a good start. It also prevented me from making my uh, videos that I wanted to make, uh, which is why things have been a little bit delayed. This is... Ugh. This is the sword. Okay, it is a proper sword. It is heavy. Um, fortunately, it's not too sharp, but it has a lot of weight to it. So it just felt like I got punched by a sharp object on my face. Wouldn't recommend hanging sharp ob objects above your bed. Many people said if, uh, if I was involved in some promiscuous activity, it could have ended very differently. Uh, that's true, I got up super lucky and it really wasn't bad. Five stitches later, I'm back and ready for action. Hopefully it hasn't messed up my face too much, but you know, there's, uh, there's worse things in this world. The second part. Now, I wanted to make a video about buying and selling items. It's been by far my most requested video. You guys are really curious how to actually make money from lost relics, but this will apply to anything uh, that's engine related. What happened was I got scammed out of all of my engine 
as well as got my wallet compromised. Now it was due to a fake website and severe stupidity on my part. Um, I can't blame anything other than the fact that I just had a, a moment of pure stupidity and a lapse of judgment, but I'm going to try and let you guys know uh, what happened to me so hopefully you can avoid it in future. I'm gonna be vulnerable, you know, no one, no one likes feeling like an idiot, but if it helps one of you guys to avoid getting scammed, I can, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be happy. I don't, I don't mind looking like an idiot. I'm still learning, I'm still new to the whole crypto space. Uh, so all I can offer is what I've experienced and what I've heard. So what happened was I had engine in my engine wallet. It was at the time to the value of $100 um, and I was gonna use that to purchase an item. Now you need Ethereum in your wallet to cover the gas fee for all of your transactions. Now that isn't something I knew at the time, so I got some Ethereum, I had it in my MetaMask and I wanted to send it over to my engine wallet. Now, first mistake is I converted my Ethereum, uh, sorry, I converted my BNB, because I had that, into Ethereum, but it wasn't pure Ethereum, it was Binance pegged Ethereum. Like, it, the, the thought didn't occur to me, I hadn't experienced that before, but I did see the icon for the Ethereum was different, right? It should be the black little diamond thing or, or whatever it is, but this one was blue. I just thought there was no other option, so I moved it to that. Now, I moved that Ethereum to my um, engine wallet and it didn't show up understandably because engine wallets only show up your pure ethereum and not the binance pegged ethereum so i went on to the engine discord support and i listed my query hopefully people would help me a bunch of people reached out to me and all of them seemed sketchy except for this one guy who seemed very helpful he was not now he suggested that i go onto a website called connect wallet huge fucking scam now that's Bear in mind, okay? Then a bunch of other people said how they did it was they went on to and then they listed the same website, right? So what they claimed it would do was sync the two wallets and you know, sync your Binance pegged Ethereum or the Binance Smart Chain into your engine wallet and then, you know, all will be good to go. Terrible idea. So what happened was now that's, they directed me to a fake website. Now it asks you to sign in to your account, right? Shouldn't be too bad. The moment that I had absolute stupidity was it asks in three ways to sign in, but only one way was, um, was, was clickable and that was entering your seed phrase. I know, I, I couldn't have been more stupid, but at the time I was just like, okay, got to sign in. I looked up if this website was legit. I, you know, checked a bunch of articles. Not once did they mention that there was a scam, there was no posts, there was nothing against it, it was fairly new, should have been a red flag, but I, I thought, you know, I need to make this video, so I'm gonna put, try and transfer my Ethereum so that I can record something and put it together for you guys. So I enter my seed phrase, like, I, I cannot stress this enough, it was stupid, it was misinformed, it was, yeah. The problem with that is once they have your seed phrase, they own your wallet. I thought, you know, maybe they need my passcode or something. That's not a thing. As soon as you give someone your seed phrase, it's not yours anymore. It is someone else's say goodbye to the wallet. As soon as I'd done that, I realized what I'd just done and I logged back into my engine wallet and I looked for any way to lock the wallet, to stop transactions for a certain amount of time, uh, to change seed phrase, those options are not available. The seed phrase, in my understanding, uh, is a one-time thing. Like, if that seed phrase is compromised, your wallet's not yours. So, I see the Ethereum come in, and I'm thinking, like, in a moment, is this my Ethereum, is this theirs? And then I refresh the page, and I see my engine has been sent out of my wallet. So they deposited enough to cover the transaction fee, and then they took all of my engine. Now they put it on the fastest um, option for the highest gas fee, so it was instant. I tried to stop the transaction, I tried to cancel, but it was already successful by the time I'd caught it. Um, that was very upsetting and stupid. Now I have a legendary axe within the wallet. I was worried that they would take that item, so I wanted to then send it to myself. The problem was I now do not have any of my engine left, and 
any Ethereum left, because my, my Ethereum is still Binance pegged Ethereum, and their Ethereum was gone to cover the transaction fee. So now I'm stuck with this wallet, with my item in the wallet that I cannot then send out, right? I, so I deposited Ethereum into the wallet for me to send my item out, just to try and quickly um, get my item to a new wallet I created. And it turns out you need three engine for the transfer fee of an item. So now you need engine to cover engine wallets fees and then Ethereum to cover the network transaction fees, right? In order to put engine onto my account from Binance, it would cost me 13 engine um, in transaction fees with a minimum of 20 something like 27 or 29 engine that I can withdraw. So I would need to load about 30 engine into my Binance wallet, then lose 13 sending it to engine uh, wallet, then lose three sending it to my other wallet, plus then Ethereum on top of that. So I, I got played, I got played hard. Now, the, the biggest problem was the money, not, not so much of an issue, money, money comes and goes. Um, the, the thing that was problematic was my account is linked to Lost Relics as well as Six Dragons, which I started playing for a little bit. Six Dragons, I can change accounts or change wallets, that's easy. Lost Relics, you have to reach out to Cliff and then if he deems worthy, he will then unlink your account. So I haven't been able to play Lost Relics um, because I, I don't want to use my compromised account to play the game. So it's been a very challenging week. It's, it's been a week of L's, but I'm hoping, you know, within the next couple days or so, everything will get sorted. I hope you guys at this point have learned, do not give out your seed phrase. I was stupid enough, so please learn from my mistakes. Um, because it is extremely costly. Not only does it cost you money, but it costs you money on top of money. You potentially lose items as well, or you just have to pay a ridiculous amount of fees to send them to your new wallet. And that was just for one item. Imagine you had a wallet with five, 10, 100 items. That's three engine transfer fee per item, or you can leave it in the hopes of JumpNet 2.0 potentially coming out, but then your items in a compromised wallet. Please learn from my stupidity. One, don't hang sharp objects above your bed. It's a recipe for disaster. And two, don't give out your seed phrase. If you have any questions about any sketchy websites or you're not too sure, reach out, reach out again. Fortunately, I have a mate, Kane, who has offered at any point if I have any query as to anything being a scam or not, he says I'll text him and then he will help me with everything. It's super important to have people you trust in the space that can give you some clear advice because when we get emotionally invested in something, we tend to make some rash, rash decisions, which I have uh, clearly done so. So I, that's, that's my video, that's why I haven't been posting the videos I wanted to post, that's also why I haven't been in game so much. I've been trying to sort out my account and wallets and everything in between, getting five stitches, um, and then having to sort some real life stuff out, which really sucks because uh, Lost Relics is life. I hope that you have learned something from the video. I'll be linking my Instagram for you guys to go and check out the story, and then bear in mind the giveaway of the three blood extinctions. I will be making a new video soon um, about buying on the Nginx marketplace. I asked someone else when, if they doing a transaction, if they could send me some footage um, and then I'll compile the best tips and tricks as to what to look out for, how not to get scammed and how to, you know, make some money from the game because I know a lot of you guys are keen for that. So thank you for watching the video of me just speaking to a camera. I hope that you guys have learned something. And uh, again, I always appreciate you guys' support. I'll be making more videos soon, so stay tuned. I have been Lucifer. I will see you soon. Peace.